We said goodbye to so many fascinating women in the past year. Here are 24 incredible women who you may not have heard about when they died, but whose memories will live on in our hearts. Carolee Wilcox joined Jim Henson's Muppet Workshop in 1969. For the next 43 years, she was one of Sesame Street and the Muppet Show's leading puppet makers. She built frogs, pigs, and fraggles, and she designed a little red monster who would eventually become known as Elmo. Carolee Wilcox died January 9, 2021, at the age of 85. Diane Durham was the first African-American gymnast ever to win the U.S. National Championship in 1983 when she was 15 years old. Though injuries and politics kept her from the Olympics, she went on to open her own gym where she coached and inspired young gymnasts for decades. Diane Durham died February 4, 2021 after a brief illness at the age of 52. Rhea Herla Woltman was a young airplane pilot when she was recruited in 1959 for a program to test women as potential astronauts. She passed with flying colors. But it would be another 19 years before NASA allowed any women to become astronauts. Instead, Rhea Woltman taught cadets at the Air Force Academy and kept flying into her 80s. She died February 15, 2021, of natural causes at the age of 92. Carla Walenda was just a toddler when she started learning to walk the high wire in her family's daredevil circus act, The Flying Walendas. She performed incredible death-defying aerial acts until she retired at the age of 81. Carla Wallenda died March 6, 2021, of natural causes at the age of 85. Martha Lou Gadsden was the chef who founded and ran Charleston, South Carolina's famous soul food restaurant, Martha Lou's Kitchen. For 37 years, her beef stew with oxtails, chitterlings, fried chicken, and okra soup defined low country cooking for visitors from all across America. Martha Lou Gadsden died April 1, 2021 at the age of 91. Diana Ortiz was a young Catholic nun doing missionary work when she was kidnapped and tortured during Guatemala's Civil War. After she escaped, she worked to uncover the United States' involvement and she founded a group to help other victims of torture. Diana Ortiz died February 19, 2021, of cancer at the age of 62. Ruthie Thompson was still a teenager in the 1930s when she went to work as an artist for her childhood neighbor, Walt Disney. For the next 40 years, she helped animate Disney's classic films, including Snow White, Sleeping Beauty, Pinocchio, and Fantasia. Ruthie Thompson died October 10, 2021, at the age of 111. Christia Donaldson wrote the book Thank God I'm Natural as a resource for black women on how to care for their hair naturally without chemical relaxers. She went on to launch first her own beauty line, Thank God It's Natural, and then a breast cancer charity, the TGIN Foundation. Christia Donaldson died November 13, 2021, at the age of 42. Tempest Storm was one of the most successful burlesque stars of all time, headlining shows on the Las Vegas Strip for decades. She danced from her 20s into her 80s. She approached striptease as a sophisticated art. She dated Elvis Presley, and at the height of her popularity in the 1950s, she reportedly had her breasts insured for a million dollars. Tempest Storm died April 21, 2021, at the age of 93. Marcella LeBeau was a United States Army nurse who was honored for her service treating soldiers on the battlefield during World War II. 
Back at home, she became an elder of the Cheyenne River Sioux Tribal Council and dedicated the rest of her life to fighting for the rights of Native American people. Marcella LeBeau died November 21, 2021, at the age of 102. Lynn Emery was a sculptor who created large works of art that move using wind, water, and magnets to set them in motion. Originally inspired by watching a spoon balancing on a pile of dirty dishes, she took the idea to a massive scale as she welded together huge and delicately balanced metal structures. Lynn Emery died March 11, 2021, at the age of 94. Jessica Morris was the founder of Our Brain Bank, a nonprofit group that helps people suffering from brain cancer. She was diagnosed with glioblastoma in 2016. The odds of living more than 18 months were very low, but she fought on for the next five years to make her charity a reality. Jessica Morris died June 8, 2021, at the age of 57. Bernice Falk Haydu signed up to serve her country during World War II as one of the WASPs, the very first women to fly planes for the U.S. military. Over her lifetime, she successfully fought to have WASPs officially recognized as military veterans, and in 2009, she was one of the women who accepted a Congressional Gold Medal on the WASPs' behalf. Bernice Falcadu died January 30, 2021, at the age of 100. Joy Hummel was the first woman to write for Wonder Woman Comics writing anonymously in the 1940s, a time when few women wrote for comic books. She moved on to a career as a stockbroker, and her work was all but forgotten until she was featured in the 2014 book, The Secret History of Wonder Woman. Joy Hummel died April 5, 2021, at the age of 97. Joanne Shenandoah was a Native American singer and songwriter who won a Grammy Award for her music, which blended traditional tunes with New Age and folk. A beloved musical matriarch, she performed at the White House, Carnegie Hall, and St. Peter's Basilica. Joanne Shenandoah died November 22, 2021, at the age of 64. Barbara Rose Collins was the first black woman from Michigan elected to the U.S. Congress, serving in the House of Representatives in the 1990s. She introduced the first bill to make Juneteenth a federal holiday. Though that bill didn't pass, Juneteenth finally became an official holiday just months before her death. Barbara Rose Collins died November 4, 2021, at the age of 82. Anna Halprin was a choreographer known for her experimental approach to dance, including a nude production that shocked audiences in the 1960s. She later became a pioneer of using dance as a healing tool, drawing from her own experience with cancer. Anna Halprin died May 24, 2021, at the age of 100. Carolyn Shoemaker was an amateur astronomer who, without any scientific training, set a record for the most comets anyone had ever discovered. She famously spotted comet Shoemaker-Levy 9 before it collided with Jupiter, providing important information for scientists studying the solar system. Carolyn Shoemaker died August 13, 2021, at the age of 92. LaDonna Brave Bull Allard was a Native American activist who donated her family's land to establish the first camp for Americans protesting the Dakota Access Pipeline. She opposed the pipeline because it ran past her son's grave and other land sacred to the Standing Rock Sioux tribe. LaDonna Brave Bull Allard died April 10, 2021, at the age of 64. Eunice Sato was the mayor of Long Beach, California in the early 1980s, becoming the first Asian-American woman to lead a major U.S. city. 
She revitalized the city's downtown, and she tirelessly helped her constituents with their concerns. Eunice Sato died February 12, 2021, at the age of 99. Patricia Keneally Morrison was one of the first music journalists to write serious criticism about rock and roll, as well as one of the first women covering rock. She was in a relationship with rock star Jim Morrison of The Doors, and she wrote about their time together in her memoir, Strange Days. Patricia Keneally Morrison died July 23, 2021, at the age of 75. Penny Harrington became the first woman to lead a major U.S. police department when she was appointed police chief in Portland, Oregon in 1985. She started a successful neighborhood policing program, and she went on to become an expert on women in law enforcement. Penny Harrington died September 15, 2021, at the age of 79. Lucille Times was a civil rights activist who started a one-woman bus boycott in Montgomery, Alabama, shortly before the famous boycott launched by Rosa Parks and Martin Luther King. She got into a fist fight with the very same bus driver who insisted Parks should give up her seat, and she mounted a campaign to offer rides to black people so they could avoid taking the bus. Lucille Times died August 16, 2021, at the age of 100. Betty White was simply a national treasure, the beloved star of sitcoms from The Mary Tyler Moore Show to The Golden Girls, to hot in Cleveland. She proudly demonstrated her tender heart as she worked for decades towards animal welfare, supporting worthy organizations including the Morris Animal Foundation and the Los Angeles Zoo. Betty White died December 31, 2021, at the age of 99. To hear more life stories like these, subscribe to Legacy.com's YouTube channel. And if you're on Facebook, you can follow Legacy.com there for daily updates. Thanks for watching.